I'm Liz Josephsberg and this is One Minute to Wellness. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite staple vegetables for the fall, which is spaghetti squash. It is an amazing, low carb, low calorie, high fiber, nutrient filled, amazing vegetable that I use all the time in different ways. And I just wanted to share how to make it really quickly uh, with you and show you a few things that I wish someone would have told me before I ever made it for the first time. Okay, so um, this squash is very hard on the outside. So one tip uh, is that when you bring it home, it's going to look a little bit like this on the outside, just so you know what it looks like. And if you pop it in the microwave, first hit it with a knife about three times and pop it in the microwave for about two and a half, three minutes, it'll soften it without cooking it, it'll soften it just enough so that you can easily cut it in half. When you cut it in half and you open it up, it's gonna look like this on the inside. It's gonna have a bunch of seeds and stuff that you're gonna need to just pull out with a spoon really easily and clean it out like I have on this side. Then I usually dr drizzle in about a tablespoon of olive oil. After drizzling that in, I like to take a little brush and make sure that it's evenly coated so that we bake it and it gets a really nice little crispy outside. I add some garlic powder, a little bit of sea salt and pepper to the squash before cooking it. I throw it in the oven uh, at about 425 for 45 minutes. Depending on the size of the squash, you may need to go a little bit longer. So here are a couple that I just pulled out of the oven, actually. I wanted to show you what it looks like. See, we've got this nice crust on the outside. It's beautifully seasoned with pepper and garlic and salt. Now, to pull it apart as spaghetti squash is supposed to be, you just simply use a fork and it will easily pull right off the sides of the squash and look just like noodles, like spaghetti noodles. So I usually will pull out a big bunch of this for my kids and I will throw a little bit of tomato sauce on there and they just eat it up, they love it. Um, my husband and I love to fry it up in a little bit of extra um, butter and put some Parmesan cheese on it and add some other fresh vegetables and basil um, on top of it. My new favorite way to eat it is actually for breakfast. Um, I have been lately doing a beautiful bed of spaghetti squash with uh, an over medium egg right over the top of it for breakfast. And it is simply delicious. And the protein and the fiber, they keep me full for a really long time. So the nice thing about spaghetti squash is it will store very nicely for three to four days. So put it in a nicely sealed container put it in the fridge and then just, you know, scoop it out as you need for different meals. So I hope this made it easy for you, made it feel a little bit accessible and I hope you'll play with it a little bit this week. Enjoy.